This is what's left of the home where officials say a Russian-made Grad missile hit this week. The owner, Valentina, was home. She says something hit her in the head and she fell down. She couldn't see, but she crawled in the direction of the doorway. I came out and nothing was left. The house is gone. Nothing is left. I was in shock. I'm in shock now because I grew up in this house. It was my parents' house. My father built it with his own hands. Her husband, Yuri, holds what he says are fragments of the missile. He says the authorities took away the larger pieces. I don't know how my wife survived. It's incredible. It seems this is the front line, from that end to that end, the semicircle. Yuri and Valentina have moved to an apartment elsewhere in town, but Valentina says she's not going any farther. I will never go anywhere away from my motherland. My parents' graves are here. I was born here. I grew up here. I will never leave this place. Down the street, the arrival of reporters and Ukrainian officials sparks an argument. Some neighbors are eager for the rebels to return. This man sent his children to safety in Russia. We didn't ask you to come from the West. Mind your own business. Go to church. Do whatever you want. We just want this. If we want to go to church, we go. We want to live here and work. We don't need anything else. His neighbor just wants to go back to the way things were before the war started last summer. We lived here mixed, northern Russians, Ukrainian, and Russians mixed. Your mother could be Ukrainian and your father could be Russian. Russians came here to restore Donbass, the mines, everything was fine. We want peace, peace and peace. At City Hall, workers prepare plastic sheeting to patch damaged windows and roofs and worry about the rebel advance. I'm scared, very scared, but what to do? We're leaving. We don't have any place to go, so we live and work. We work under shelling. It's scary, but still. We can leave. We have a place to go, but I can't. I have my parents here. I just can't leave. I can't allow myself. We sent our child, but it hurts so much. A statue of Lenin still presides in the Papasna city square and the winter gloom seems to accentuate the mood. Part of a story with geopolitical implications is playing out here, and whatever their political leanings, local residents feel profound change may be coming again to their once ordinary town, where not long ago, no news was made at all. Al Pesson, VOA News, Papasna, Ukraine.